Hello everybody, it's Val from Victory Stitches and I'm going to show you how I like to make bonus blocks. So I'm making these little squares. Let me grab one. I should have grabbed one. Like this. And some larger ones like this to make a sunflower block. And when you make these, you end up with a lot of scraps. You can turn the scraps into cute little blocks. So with these ones I made pinwheels. I love making pinwheels. And at the back, they look like Union Jacks, which I think is really quite cool as well. So this is how I make them. So when you go to make your typical half square triangle, or um, for this one here, we're snowballing the corners, we're taking the corners off. So what you do is you line up your, to make this thing here, basically, I have to, it's going to look like, that when it's finished so I have to take that part off so here we go so what I'm going to do is put this down and I'm going to sew from corner to corner and then repeat on the same on this side here and sew corner to corner that's just how I make my normal block which you'll make in a lot of quilt blocks so we'll do that quickly first One done. Okay, so we have that guy. Now what you do, normally what you do is you would cut a quarter inch from your sew line right here and you chop that off. This is where I make my bonus blocks because otherwise that goes in the garbage and it can be used to make something instead of going in the garbage. Uh, so what I do is I move my needle all the way over. I do a whole pile of these and then I'd make this extra part. So you can also cut it and do it afterwards, but I find it's easier if it's already here. So move your needle all the way over to the end if you can on your machine, which mine has a button for that. Um, some of them you can do it manually. And if not, draw a line half an inch away so you want to measure half an inch and draw a line right there that's going to be your new sew line okay because you got to have a quarter inch in between each of these to chop that off so mine's all the way around all the way over sorry and it's going to sew on both sides one two all right and you get two sew lines on each one. You're gonna cut down the middle. I'm gonna have about a quarter inch on each side. Cut it in the middle. There you go. And you get two half square triangles and your block. I'll press that later and I'll deal with these later because I already have some made. Okay. So I like, because these are super small, the late lowest I'll go is an inch. So you want each of these to be an inch. If it's less than that, it just gets too hard to deal with. Uh, so these here are the smallest I make, but there you go. Here's your little guy. I don't, uh, when I make little pinwheels, I, I don't particularly size them up first. I'll size them up after, but if you take four of them, and lay them out. I always find with pinwheels it's hard to lay out, but always remember that each side is opposite. So it'd be yellow, 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 yellow. So it sort of goes opposite from each other. And put those together. Now you want to make sure that you sew at a quarter inch. So let me change my machine to a quarter inch here. Mine's all digital and I just move the needle around instead of moving my foot. And I like to cut off any little excess, so just go chop, chop. There you go. So that little guy. Okay, same with those two. Put them together. And sew them. Put 
don't think he wanted to sew very well. Mm, but that's okay. It doesn't really matter. All right. So then like this. Open them up. And you'll have two that kind of look like that. Press your seams open when you do really small blocks, especially uh, pinwheels, four patches. Whenever you got stuff that meets in the middle, it's going to get really, really bulky really fast. So if you do press them open, they are a lot better. There we go. All pressed open. Okay, so they're going to look like that. You can iron these, but I find they're small enough that I'll iron them after. There we go. Put them all together like that and sew a quarter inch down there. And open it up. And it's a cute little pinwheel. And again, open that seam like that. Press it in and give it a good press with your iron. And you didn't waste any fabric other than these little tiny bits. And you can figure out what to do with one of those. You can put stuff around it, build around it. You can put them all together. But it's not wasted. And it's so cute. Anyway, happy sewing.